Hello, it's John Donnelly, and it's me again, this time with part one of four bits of the Don't Just Present Blow Their Socks Off. And I mean that, this is not another presentation course. By taking these fantastic four comedians and saying, right, what are some of the techniques, systems, strategies, and frameworks they use? Aren't they fabulous? Now then, how would we make that work for a business presenter? And that's what we've done. So part one, the master heckler handler with Billy Conley. Tommy Cooper, part two. This guy absolutely gave me a sequence that meant on one of the worst potential days of my life in terms of audience, state, drunkenness and everything, I, I walked away as the star. The fact I walked away with my body parts intact was, was a win. Max Miller, he's been dead a few years, but this guy was the expert on the psychology of an audience and how you deal with people who perhaps don't like you or giving the indications you are, and lots of other stuff as well. Bob Monkhaus, a lovely, lovely man, personally so generous to me, and so, so organised. So all four of those have got lots to contribute. So on with the motley. Billy Conley. It's his peers that call him a master heckler handler. Why? Well, lines like this. <laughs> Is that fabulous? No. One of the things he does is he mixes with the audience first. If he's in the town for the day, walking around talking to them. Are you going to the show tonight? Uh, and in the bar. And he actually finds out their names. And then he uses them. Where's Emily? Where's Derek? Great stuff then. Okay? Let's deal with that. Implications. First of all, when you observe him, he's so inside his performance. And I think that what you have here is someone that goes back to the storyteller days before Caxton, when people only got paid as they went from village to village, if they were brilliant at the way they tell the story. So for the psychologist amongst you, you will recognise that they have to be visually very powerful. They have to use superb language that really drives it home. And they actually have to be inside and live and have a feel for the jokes. And you're looking at all three. The other thing as well that, that Connolly did was he said, you work the group by honouring the individual. So if I pick on people, you think, this is a real evening, it's very different. Uh, and if I'm lucky enough or unlucky enough to be picked on, right, it just proves that this whole audience here is treating as being something special. How interesting is that? I used one of his techniques and I've adopted it for handling a difficult audience where you have people who could even be at each other's throats. I, and an example was I was presenting to about 12 people, which included the um, non-executive, who was an ex-vice-admiral, and the union representative. You can imagine these two could not be further apart. Inevitably, one of them asked a question, and I used the Connolly thing. I went over to the other one and said, I'm not going to duck this question. I'm going to answer it honestly. And you might not like the answer, but I hope you appreciate the honesty. The implication being, of course, is that when you ask a question, you'll be treated to the same way. And it, it works a dream. Most conflicting audience. Loads more to learn from Billy and the others in the webinar. Oh, and it's free. So, it's with you a little bit, JFDI. Just bleep do it. I've got a free webinar which I hope will really help you tailor, ask the questions that you need and make it work for you. And all four of the videos feed that workshop. I've also got time in there to introduce three other people. <laughs> the lady, Dame Edna, particularly on audience management, the wonderful Bob Hope, that's him in his cowboy get-up in a fantastic film called Son of Pale Face, Pale Face. and the very, very different vaudevillian Ken Dodd with some other great lessons. And now... Don't you just hate it when you think the only reason people are talking to you is to sell you the book? Well, I am. But I'm not selling you because they're fun and they're free. So, 
the new boss day one. Absolutely perfected in the most difficult circumstances. So even if you've been parachuted in and are perceived as being the enemy, this one has got some drop dead gorgeous techniques. This isn't the right name for the workshop, it's, it's so much better than this. It's the applications of much, much better questions. And the three that are on the video are turning a um, great leader out even in the crisis, really motivating the team, and questions that aren't in the sales book. And again, it's a free webinar and at least one video on that. It may break down into two or three parts. So that's the three. You've seen what part of one of them with Connolly. These quotes uh, aren't the best, according to other people, but they're my favourite. That first one was from Alan Uran, who at the time was the chief executive of one of the biggest divisions of Dixons. The second one was from Dara O'Brien, and he said, it's not original, John, somebody used it about me. Never the same old, same old, probably one of the best non-exec chairman in the UK, Sir Peacock. And the last one was <laughs> at a conference, and it was the chair, and she was one of the most senior business bankers in the UK. I just thought that was wonderful. And the only thing where you do have to pay a bother to someone on one.